Hey there, derps and dilps. How you doing today? We're gonna play the Fungal Forest Iron Challenge today. How we doing? How we doing today? Alright, first thing you're gonna notice is a crap load of these Sylvan Elf things. Mm, yeah. They take up a lot of my space, too. Mm, yeah. I don't like that they're taking up all my space. Mm, yeah. I don't really like that at all. Mm, yeah. So what we're gonna have to do is gonna get some magic over here. We're gonna have to get some Sylvan Elves for sure. I know, it sucks. We don't really wanna do that, but we kinda gotta, but you gotta protect them. That's the key. You gotta protect them all. Otherwise, you're gonna be pretty much screwed. So get them all. Don't just get some of them. Get them all if you're gonna get them. And uh, make them defend each other. That's pretty much what you wanna do. And since you got the Barracks Towers, you're probably gonna have to end up using them as effectively as possible as well. So check this out. We're gonna get these Barracks over here. We're gonna get another one right there. We're gonna get those guys up to a fairly high Barracks Tower. And then, oh, we have the Mage Towers on the left to hopefully kill most of those guys as well. So the reason why these Holy Order guys are here is because basically, oh, oh my, I didn't realize I was going to do that. I was, I was pretty demanded. I was not expecting that barracks over there. Alright, so now we got these Sylvan Elves all kind of, like, bunched up right here. And we got them right behind the Holy Order guys. Now, why is this, Why? Are you doing this, Chris? Usually you would just go a lot of magic. Well, magic's not going to do enough damage versus these guys. So basically, you have to use the Sylvan Elves. And the only best way to use the Sylvan Elves without having them all die is to put some Holy Order guys in the way. They won't die, and you can use the Elves to shoot them, shoot the mushrooms. That is the idea, my friends. So watch this. Watch these Holy Order guys. Uh, you know, you want the Holy Order guys to get even further back, but you just, you just can't make it happen really that well. They run up to attack, which is not good. So you got these Sylvan Elves doing a lot of damage over here. If the Sylvan Elves die, again, you're going to be out a lot of money, so you don't want that to happen. So just leave, keep letting your Holy Order guys do the uh, good amount of... Oh my goodness gracious, nine shrooms all at once. What? What's up? You. Yeah. Also get the reinforcements in the way as well. Put them kind of like right on top of the Sylvan Elves, because those guys will run up as well. And hopefully, you know, not die too quickly, I think. So we're probably going to have to rain a fire this big, gigantic group of them. Oh my goodness gracious, that was a lot of rooms right there. We got tons of money from that too as well, so that's nice. Alright, so this is a fairly long challenge, a fairly difficult challenge I'd say. Um, it's kind of weird. It's just, you, you just can't go with the normal strategy that you're used to. You can't just go with that simple, uh, that simple oh, let's just spam the magic, maybe spam some artillery. Can't do it. Can't do it at all. So here's the Holy Order guys. They're gonna get in the way of these, uh, these mofos. Now the Holy Order guys are going to be work working a lot better over on this side because they're a lot closer to the elves. And you can, of course you could move the elves up a little bit if they're not shooting them. You can do that. You just got to be really careful with them still. So you got a bunch of bunch of them over here. Oh my goodness! But uh, uh, those uh, tainted treats—they're not gonna—they're not gonna do anything to you. They're gonna die really easy. You got enough magic. You got a bunch of Sylvan Elves over there, and the Holy Order guys are gonna stop them for pretty much ever, anyways. Uh, they will not get through the Holy Order guys. That's for shiznit. They're not very strong, to be honest. They're just kind of painful. So you got those Sylvan Elves starting to attack with their hands. You don't want that to happen. So you gotta be careful here. You gotta be careful. If some of them die. It's, it's bound to happen. Some of them will die, but the least amount possible is your best bet. Realistically, the least amount possible. Just try and make it happen. So, oh man, my, uh, my thing's hurt. My ear's hurting. I don't know why, but I always just, I put my, uh, little headphone thing in my right ear every single time, and I put it in the left ear today, and it just did not work out at all. So we got another Sylvan Elf trying to run up there, but I'm like, no, get away, don't do that. And we are going to slowly take down all of these spiders. Mm, yeah, we still got all of our elves. Amazing. Amazing. I don't know if you guys think about it, but I always think of, whenever I see Elf, I think of Legolas. That's just the what I do. I don't know why, I just do it. So I'm going to get some of these Death Rays over here. It seems like there's not that many super duper strong guys. I'm hoping to Death Ray some of them really quickly. And or just kill them with Hacksaw, I guess. I totally forgot about that it's to kill. Uh, but still some more random, you know, little shrooms coming in here. They're not a big deal. These mushrooms are not bad at all. Um, I don't know. They're, just, they're not hard to kill. That's the best way to put it. So there we go. We just Death Raid one of them. That's exactly what we want to see. Now we can, you know, magic a few of the rest of these guys and also use Hacksaw to kill the another one. If we so desired, because there's a lot of trees coming out of these tainted tree trees. Tainted tree trees. Oh. Uh, holy order, guys. I mean, I don't even think you need to upgrade them too much. If you want to, I suppose you can. If you got a lot of money, just upgrade them. But I think, you know, mostly using a magic is, is probably your best bet. Tainted tree stuff, not that difficult, but still, you don't want them to run all the way through and then just be a mega problem and just be like killing all your elves and stuff. No, we don't want that. So we're just gonna make sure we kill them all before they get too problematic for us. Before they get too problematic. So yeah, I really feel like on the left side there, you can move your elves up a tiny bit if you want them to attack the shrooms a little bit more. 
You totally can, because uh, again, you don't want them to hand attack too much. It seems like I'm sa I'm having to hand attack them a little bit too much. I don't really want that to happen. They're getting poisoned. No, don't poison them. The good thing is they do. Re as soon as you stop attacking, they regenerate their health basically instantaneously. Which is obviously a very very nice thing for us. That's what we like to see. Some swamp things coming out, man. But swamp things can be pretty pretty big issues for us. We don't want them to come on through here. And they're coming out the out the outsides as well, which means our uh, Instantaneous death ray kill is probably not going to happen too often. No, not, not going to happen very often at all. So these guys are a little bit of an issue. I mean, I, I still think we're going to do an okay job, but at the same time, they're just going to keep killing your Holy Order guys, and that's not exactly what you want to do. So you're going to have to run up on these guys and actually attack them with the Holy Order people, and hopefully take them down. Now look at all these shrooms, rain of fire them up the wazoo up in the top there. You'll take down so many of them with the rain of fire, and then with... Uh, uh, your magic and stuff, you can take, hopefully, most of these swamp things down. So now we got some random guys coming out of that little lake down in the bottom right there as well. But, oh, luckily enough for us, these swamp things not getting too far, and if they do get a little bit further, we're gonna have to move our elves up, because obviously the swamp things are gonna kill our elves like crazy, so you gotta put reinforcements and stuff in the way. You just do not want these swamp things attacking your elves. You do not want that at all. At all. More Swamp Things. Oh my goodness. But look at all this gold we got. We got billions of gold all over the place. Most of our elves down there actually just died. It's not fun. Not fun at all. But we're taking them down. We're taking them down indeed. And finally, we're going to use Hacksaw over here on the left side as soon as we can take down some of these guys. I'm pretty darn happy. Again, a thousand gold. What do we want to do with all that gold? Well, we got we to gotta run these guys up there, man. Just run them up there. Let them do their little uh, arrow attacks on these things. And I might even rain a fire this uh, big chunk of mushrooms in the middle here. Yep, pretty good. Did more death raying action. Death ray up this place. And they killed all my Sylvan Elves again. Oh my, oh my. The good thing is, we're so late in the game that it really doesn't matter that much that these elves are getting that, uh, that dead already. But you gotta repopulate them eventually if you want to uh, kill a lot of these things. It's just terrible because these swamp things are so good at killing elves. I don't know how they are, they just are. They're amazing at killing the elves. We're taking them all down. We need Hacksaw up in here. Hopefully they'll attack Hacksaw instead because Hacksaw's got a lot of health and he can regenerate really quickly. Whereas, you know, obviously spending 200 gold on the stupid Sylvan elves every single five seconds is terrible. I know they cost 100, but I always have to buy two, because the Swamp Things always kill two people every single time. Alright, so I just sold one of those Arcane Wizards, expecting this to be the very end of the game. And I'm just going to keep buying these Elves. I don't care how many times they die, I just got to kill kill these things. Maybe I should get some Holy Order upgrades as well. If you really want to, I think that's about definitely a not bad way to go about doing it. But it seems like every one of these Sylvan Elves that die, you get uh, zombie, some of these husks popping out. I don't know if that really is how it works, but it seems to be that case seems to be. A few more guys to take down. Not a big deal, though. It should not be a big deal at all. Uh, we've gotten so far already that we could easily sell some Arcane Wizards and get even more crap if we so desired. All of these guys all over the place. Oh my goodness. And a nice little magic tower on the bottom to kill that left side of Swamp Thing. It looks like we're going to take the cake, guys. We're going to take the cake, cake, cake all the way down to Chinatown. So that's what I'm going to have you guys today. Please press the little like button if you did like this video. I really appreciate that. I really do, my friends. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.